I'd like to welcome you to the 2015 Action for Boston's Community Development University High School graduation. University High School is part of the ABCD uh, family and it's a program for students who are overage and undercredited. We work with these students to give them credit in the classes they need at an accelerated pace. We've come from many different backgrounds and situations, but success is one thing we all had in common. And we're here to celebrate the journey it took to get us here. Before UHS, I was struggling to juggle being a mother and being a student. Everywhere I turned, someone was telling me that I wasn't going to make it. Or being a mother and a student is impossible. Before I came to University High, I was flunking out of classes, barely going to school, and stuff like that. It was difficult for me to get to school on time because, well, I don't live that far, but it was just, I had to be at school at 7 in the morning. So my 11th grade year, I was always late to school. My friend told me about it at first, and I thought I might as well try it too, get like classes, credits I need to graduate. We have small classes here, and we start at 9. It's a small environment. I realized my senior year is very important, so I gotta stay in school and focus. You're all part of the ABCD family, and that means down the road. Wherever you may be, you keep in contact, because there may be a time we can help you. I looked into a couple of different alternative schools, but this one was easier, it was closer, it was, you know, more convenient. Attending UHS wasn't a miracle, it was a second chance at success for me. A chance to show my daughter and I that you will be faced with many challenges in life. But what matters is how you overcome them. You're only here for what you need to be in school for. You're not here for anything extra. You're just here for the classes you need to take and then you're done. Make this one of the first of many roads and opportunities and achievements that you have. Consider this the end of one and the beginning of another journey. I, if I was to stay at my old school, I wouldn't graduate. So when I heard about UHS, that's when I decided to try it. And it actually helped me. These students have been through a lot to get to this, to get here today. They took a full course load and they have all persevered and made it to today. And I think it's important for us to take time out to celebrate them. Well, this award is for the student that demonstrated a spirit of exuberance, determination, and excellence even though they face difficult times. The award for perseverance goes to Liz. First, I want to say congratulations to the grads. Um, I have one student that I would like to recognize as someone who excelled in my classroom this year, and that would be Daisy. I love the staff. It's just a little bit of staff. It's only about, about like five of them. They keep the students pushing. They tell them, keep going, push yourself. We have around, like, what, 70 kids here? They push them. Staff is just, they make you feel like family. You know, they make you feel like, like family. Welcome, welcome. I think it was a pleasure to teach every one of you. There was one student that stood out, tested out at Algebra 1, and did an excellent job in Algebra 2. Daisy Bond. I want to tell you guys congratulations, and you guys definitely made this year fun and remarkable. I'm working hard, doing the experiments, helping other students when they got stuck especially, I think, with physics. Um, Paul Cabrera. It was small, and it was a better environment. You know, I got one-on-one -on -one interaction with teachers, staff. They supported me. It felt like um, we all came together as a family and helped each other out. And when anyone was struggling, everyone was on each other's backs, making sure stuff got done. I'm particularly enthused about what's happened here. A number of students have actually achieved something that is a milestone in your lives. When you get to a place and you see a mountain, it has a lot of different peaks. Well, you've climbed that mountain. I really, really do want to go to college, so that's something I'm going to try and, you know, get into you know, for my daughter, you know, be a good mom to her. Right now, I am going back in September to get my cosmetology license, and then after, I am going to apply to colleges and be a criminal justice major. I want to get my master's in business. I mean, my MBA, I'm hoping to make six figures. They have shown time and time again that they have the capability to perform academically, to succeed in the workplace, and that they shouldn't settle for anything less than what their idea of success is. 